Okay, welcome back. It's been a wild 48 hours for me. I do have a new knife here for you, but I'll tell you, I not only switched my 8020.5 back to the original bribery scales because I missed the authenticity. Um, I also rearranged my entire desk setup and I have no idea where these knives are right now. So there's a strong chance that if I try and do the comparisons I normally do, I am going to forget where that knife is. So we'll see how that goes. Once again, talking about how much I love the Demco Shark's Foot and what it does for opening, doing utility cuts in general, but like particularly for opening packages. Goes where I tell it every time. Gosh, for those of you that have been back a few times, you must be tired of hearing that. <laughs> All right, what do we have here? This is a knife I got on Blade Forums. Yes! All right, I know what this is. Cool. I've been waiting for this one. Thinking about just buying one new and ended up kind of holding out. Got a little tape here, it looks like. Holding out for a pre-owned one. We'll see if I did well on it or not. There's a little um, sticker missing there, but yeah, super excited for this knife. Super excited. I suppose I'll just leave this one out because it's a Demco and it is an 8020.5 in this packaging, which means I think there's only like four models it could be. Interesting here. Looks like the clip has been removed. Here's the left carry clip. The left hand carry clip comes with it standard, but the factory clip is removed. I thought this was a newer one, but maybe it'd been carried. It must have been if it's got the, huh, that's interesting. No idea what's going on there, but definitely shows a little bit of sign of wear here. Cool. Well, this is the uh, Demco 80 20.5 Carbon. I had been wanting to get my hands on one for a while and it manifested itself. So let's see, this looks pretty clean so far. Opens very nicely. Definitely, well, not definitely. The 3V does develop a little bit of a patina on it. Um, and this one's not an exception. I'm trying to see. This one may even have a little bit of what I'd call beyond patina on it, which would be interesting. I'm trying to see if I can get a sense of how to use this is. It's definitely not chippy on the edge. You can see the edge is still very clean here. But yeah, actually, so this is kind of surprising me from the pictures. I thought this was going to be more of a rough carbon. If you've seen some of my videos, you know I do have um, I do have a carbon 8020S and did note, oops, sorry, um, how smooth it is to the point where I feel like I might, wow, we are all over the place. Sorry, new setup where I feel like I might drop it because it's so smooth to the touch. And this is actually the same carbon, which I suppose I shouldn't be surprised about. I just, for some reason, based on the pictures, thought it might not be. So I'm just kind of curious what we got here. That is a metal carry clip. This is as well. So I have no idea why there are two carry clips here. Did one of them get worn or something? And then, wait, this is a lefty. So that's a lefty. Hmm, is this a tie one maybe? Skew, 80, 20, oh. It's a, it's a right hand carry clip. Oh, wait, it's a left hand carry clip. And it's still steel. So for some reason, this knife has two left hand carry clips with it. I'm not sure why that is. Anyway, let's take a look at it because the thing that's really standing out to me is the finish is what I'd call probably beyond patina. Um, 
borderline rust there, like almost pitting. I gotta get my own eyes on it. I'm just looking at this through the camera right now. But I am thinking that it does have a little bit more wear than I was expecting. I think I could take care of it, to be honest. In a way, it's kind of cool. But I'll do a little bit more research on that or just looking at it after. You can see based on the dirt inside that it has been carried a bit because it's been in someone's pocket. Um, the carbon looks good. Doesn't look like does look like it was carried a little bit, but it doesn't really look like super worn or anything. So overall Good to get one of these carbons in the collection. Really been wanting this. I'm really curious what the weight is. I think it's set on the website, but action feels great as usual. Let's get some eyes on the weight and I have my more. Oh, that's interesting. I was gonna say these don't even come with that. <laughs> That's cool. I'll take it. These don't even come with a uh, a cleaning cloth on the the more high end ones. It's kind of funny. I was just seeing some people posting on that in the Demco face one of the Demco Facebook group groups today, and they were talking about the fact that the more expensive knives don't come with the extra pouch and clean rag and everything. So let's go to ounces here and. Mine does have an upgraded deep pocket carry clip, but within, you know, a tenth of an ounce for sure. Probably more than like a couple hundredths of an ounce of factory. This carry clip is also tie, I believe, so it's probably a little lighter. And then 3.56, so pretty similar. This is Grivery, which, you know, in general is going to be your lightest weight option. The carbon scales do have inlay steel as well. Um, and then you have the standoffs in the back on the higher end versions like the titanium and the carbon. So, yeah, my general take on this, nice to have the carbon in the collection. It's actually something I was really curious about potentially carrying. And since this one does have some wear on it, it's more tempting to actually use it for that. Um, it's the shark's foot, which is my absolute preference for an, a daily carry. I think for self-defense, you go with the clip point. For daily carry, you go with the, uh, um, with the shark's foot. Like a, when I say daily carry, I mean not daily carry, but around the house use opening packages, that kind of stuff. You can see, by the way, I finally managed to chip slightly the very tip of my OS 10 a I will not say that you should uh, knock it up against the chainsaw. We'll just leave it at that. <laughs> um, notice how the darkness, though, it, it almost looks like an acid wash or something from a little further away. It looks pretty darn good. So the patina, you kind of expect that in certain situations with a 3V, um, but probably a little more than I would expect here, to be honest. I mean, I don't know what the age of this knife is, but mm, definitely uh, gonna take a closer look at that after. So what does the carbon feel like? It's super smooth. It looks nice, but it's not like the nicest carbon I've ever seen. Um, let's see if I can get you some nice close-ups here of the carbon. I've been focusing a little too much on the blade, probably given the real unique thing here is the, the carbon. It's good. It's definitely good, but it's not like, sometimes you see carbon done in a way that just makes it look so cool. You know, I can't quite place it, but this one feels a little naked to me. A little exposed the way it's done. It's a little check marky, so it's definitely not my favorite.
carbon I've ever seen, but at the same time, it's not bad. It actually looks, I think, a little better in person than it does on the video. <clears throat> I do see like a little wear right here by my thumb. Um, so probably from being carried or whatever. You know, carbon fiber, there's a great, great video that shows carbon fiber versus titanium versus steel versus aluminum, and they like do weight of the material as well as the uh, ability for it to like take compression. Um, I can't remember the channel that does these videos, but they're really cool. Carbon is a super impressive material. It's power to weight or it's strength to weight ratio is just unprecedented. It's why everyone rides it on mountain bikes for the most part. I mean, there's some aluminum still on steel, but it's more like a choice of character and feel and like aluminum for resilience maybe in a crash versus a carbon, but the overall performance and strength of carbon is just by far surpasses metals today. Even titanium, titanium's still quite a bit heavier than carbon. So yeah, cool. Very excited to have this one. I have two more 80 20.5s coming in, and I think two more 80 20s's and an 8020, and then I'm ready to do my all Demco video, which I've been wanting to do for a while, and just share what I've learned about it. I know there's a ton I don't know, and I actually wish I could just do like a half hour interview with Andrew Demco or John Demco or something like that. But, um, and hey, if you're watching, by the way, please let me know. I'd love to talk to you and just get a sense of like what all happened over the last few years um, with these 80, 20x knives so i think that would be cool maybe we could even record it and put it on the channel um but there's certainly some decisions that were made along the way from a mix of like distribution to models to everything else that i think are super interesting and a little unique there are a lot of knife makers that like mess around with a lot of different materials and metals and that kind of stuff don't get me wrong but these have felt a little more off the cuff than others that I've seen. By the way, here's a clip point in the titanium. Let's put this one in the middle because it's the star of the show today. And this is about three quarters of an ounce heavier than these two. Just a very cool titanium finish though. If I can actually get some focus here. If you haven't seen it in some of my other videos, I do have this in the shark's foot and the smooth shark's foot as well. Smooth titanium shark's foot as well. Obviously a big Demco fan. You know what? Let's pull a hinderer out now that I've got my new arrangement. I've got a cool hinderer right here next to me. So maybe that'll be a good, that's an XM18. 3.5 that might be a good comparison for some folks um but yeah very excited to have this one obviously a little more on the worn side i'll have to go double check what i paid for it but it's probably in line so hopefully that'll make sense once i go back and check the numbers uh, it's certainly not a brand new knife here and that's okay um but yeah very smooth for those of you that are looking for something with a lot of texture and grip. This is not the knife for you. For someone that's looking for more of a smooth, because like even the Grivery has a little bit of not, you know, of um, texturing to it that maybe isn't for everyone. So I'd say if smooth is your thing, if light is your thing, this is your knife. You know, assuming that 3V is the right blade steel for you. Um, the, for those of you who don't know, you may notice though the hardware is a little different. I showed the, the standoffs in the back are different uh, in here. You know, you have a spacer here versus standoffs and you have standoffs here in the tie as well. You also have the different hardware, the different case they come with. These are both 3V on the blade steel. You can see this one's never been used absolutely Maybe a tiny bit of like patina, but not any of that kind of pitting or rust that I'm seeing on this other one. I don't know if it's rust. I don't want to jump to conclusions and say that on this video. I need to 
go get it in front of some really good light. I don't have fantastic light right now. You know what? I actually did just fix that as part of the 48 hour uh, plan here. So let me get a flashlight on it and get a little bit of a better look and see if that helps. It's like shit actually too bright. So it's not helping at all. In fact, it's making it harder to see. So that didn't work, but I will definitely work on my lighting situation more over time here. One of the things that you may notice though is the inflection in these blade steels, which is super cool. And one of the things I really love about these knives out in the sun, they really glint. And uh, that goes for most of the Demcos. They just have so much character in the uh, blade steel. It's really neat looking, uh, tumbled finish. Same with the titanium drop point 8020S here. You never really gotten to see that on my videos because my lighting's not the best best in this room here, but I'll be working on that. So, yeah, in conclusion, excited to have this one. Um, very uh, much one of those things that I was looking forward to getting in the collection and uh, highly recommend you checking it out. These are a Knife Center exclusive, the only ones that sell it like this. They are 265, I wanna say 265. 315 for the smooth titanium and 375 for the textured titanium. So yeah, for 265, you can get the carbon. I think carbon and 3V versus 150, that's a pretty good set of upgrades there. I'd say these get up, you know, the 315 smooth tie is pretty good. You get into the textured ones at 375 and it starts to feel like a stretch. Now granted, this could be depending where you live maybe, or how you use your knife. This could be your lifetime knife, right? Like one and done. I've heard some uh, others say about that knife. Uh, you may watch those other channels and know who I'm referring to. Um, but, man, I think on the value of this carbon, if you're looking for the smooth texture is really good. But again, it is like for our workers and like working, it feels good in the hand, don't get me wrong, but it's not, you know, you just don't get that texturing. So that's the most standout thing to me. Obviously, I've probably said it now 15 times on the video. So let's draw this one to a conclusion, but we're getting that much closer. We're about five knives away from a all Demco video and I'll be just talking through everything that I've learned and um, sharing the different knives that I've collected uh, over the past year from Demco. So excited to do that. And I will see you on the next one. Please like, subscribe, and have a good one. Take care.